to engage. By controlling this mid lane, gives them a greater setup for getting the first objective of the game. Hook not going to land that time. Troll going in with the Onward, the 1-2, focusing on Saison here. Turtle now up. That's exactly what they want to do. Whittle him down a little bit, make him second guess if he actually wants to contest this. This is how Tarzan likes to control this part of the game as the jungler. He's going to pretty much easily get this, uses the retribution to secure the first turtle of the game. Yeah, that's where the things that he wanted to build up for. Would they give the kills on to Lark or will they give it to Sanji? Okay, they're going to go once again. The onward goes. Saison could be in trouble. Feathered Airs are going to fall too. Bloody Hunt right on the target. Tarzan zoning in them out. They have to flicker out to stay alive for a little bit longer. Couple hits away. Two fall for Philippines. Saudi Arabia on the board. They're still going for it. It's a trade though. The one for two. Big hook into the turret. And that's going to be a kill. It's a double for Recutiano. Brody's. When they get these leads, now look at the dominance. Iron Hook and land with the Bloody Hunt. That's an easy kill. Troll will fall. Still going to be going with Last Insanity. Penalty zone right on top of Requitiano. He has to escape. Can unable to get the kill he's looking for. Three fall for Saudi Arabia. Now on the run. Only Unigo went down, sacrificing himself there. Even Stevens for the Turtles as well. The one for one. But now the turret going to be worked on here in the mid lane. That is the dive advantage of an x -Bore. Cannon picked up the immortality right away. You know how he can easily be poked down with the hits of a Valentina. Maintaining that frog arm and having a chance of life again with the immortality is a great advantage and causes four team Philippines to even have a great setup. They have taken the turtle and mostly the burst coming from the last insanity is becoming a problem now for Saudi Arabia. How do they pick up something like that if, the, again, the bot the button of the ultimate has been activated, right? Yeah, and not only that too, but they're, they're giving it a go once again, right under the turret, a little bit risky, but they go in for the kill anyway. Recutiano along with the team, it'll be the one for one trade. Unigo just going every time, like he's like, I got the focusing mark. I'm gonna go in with the bloody hunt, find a lockdown and give you guys a kill. That's kind of his assignment right now and he's doing it, right? Recutiano, by the way too, did just recently pick up the malefic roar on this Brody. So he's got two now. Damage department is great. Look at this, he's fully stacked. This is gonna be a kill, right? Oh, oh my goodness, Sanji. Sustainable to he's, survive. He lives, he lives. As he I was lives. talking about the Malefic Roar. <laughs> it's not enough yet, okay. A little oh, bit he longer. has wore your boots though, maintaining and they just deflect a bit of damage. So Spellvamp is still used and being, again, eminent for uh, this Terizla. Has a way of sustaining that, but if the threat now continues to grow for Recutiano. He had an early pick with that Malefic Roar, and with that, aided, aided with Blade of Hepatitis is becoming a danger. That's a that. walking, yeah. winning condition for Philippines right now. That's right. Saudi Arabia might be pushed to end with defensive items. Do you see Antique Ras here? Will this be a big of a difference for the damage or even? Oh my defensive? goodness, wow, Tarzan! Stolen. Smooth, just rolls in literally. Retries that away from the hands of Philippines. That's that's a great step in the right direction, right? If that's what you can do to secure your second turtle, go for it. Wow, oh, that was he was just rolling. He was just checking. Literally, he was just checking more of the vision. I was. Who needs surprised. vision when you can do that? I tell you, having the precise damage with his own retribution. Looking at the items right here, steel leg plates. You have molten essence for this box. Enough for him to sustain, and mostly, he has more utilization of his own ultimate. Pur purpose besides right now is so effective. Okay, they're gonna be in trouble here. Once again, the flicker comes through. Troll not able to find the connection. Still gets to the toss up. Look at the backside. Cannon with the last insanity. Meanwhile, they're still gonna be going. Cuffin with his own, forcing the Philippines back here. But Rekutu now unleashing with the torn apart memory. Able to find Troll. They want more here. They're going to put pressure on this turret. It finally falls. Unigo trying to line up a hook. Will he be able to grab anybody? He does not find the connection. Well, speaking of connection, that is just true. Damage connection for Rekutiano. Getting the warrior boots just now. Enough damage penetration. Enough build. Oh, that's Garcil, though. Okay, Kanon going to go in once again with the last of Sandy. Forcing back. There's the feathered airstrike to Sanji. In trouble. Couple hits away. He goes down once again by Rekutiano. 5-0-3 now. Absolutely massive here on the Brody. All this leading to the transition. This is what I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen, that Saudi Arabia had to figure out. Early game was pretty good for both games now. 
mid-game to the late-game transition is where they have to match the macro play from the Philippines. And it's starting to slip out of their hands once again like it did in game one. How do they handle this amount of a damage from Philippines? Let's take a look on the defensive side of Saudi Arabia. Looking at Edith right now, he has the steel like plates and also carry. But to look up more on the on damage deflection to have of Atarizla, he only has the anti cuirass Just by being in front of Philippines right now could actually mean a pickoff for this team to actually take you down and have a team fight follow up once you either not commit to that invade. Again, look at the positioning. Both teams here setting up lure, lure, first lord of the game. Either team that grabs this will actually be able to make quite a bit of play on the map in terms of space. You can see them taking their time with this. Unigo checking the bush there with the iron hook. Not going to be able to find a connection. Still working on this lord here. If Tarzan did what he did before the last turtle, that's all he needs to do is teams relying on him. They also wait for their own concealed play if they can find it. Saison going to drive them back a little bit, forcing this maneuver can he get it through there's the conceal from troll looking for his own angle one fourth health on the lord they gotta focus that down hook not gonna land here penalty zone finding the march say son in trouble gets the lord though can they withstand the onslaught lark in the back side able to get a kill unico goes down torn apart memory to follow up they're gonna chase them back here two fall for saudi arabia philippines on the hunt record yo gets the marks off and a kill flickers out defensively on top of it securing them the win there in the trade unico with the right target this is usually the time frame where they really shine They've ended games this early on, too, on the first floor of the game. They're going to press the situation again. That was a hook landing plus the body hunt. Tarzan in trouble, has the immortality, trying to buy time here. And he's still going to be going. Finally falls. Now troll the next target. Can he stay alive a little bit longer? Gets pulled back to the team. Double kill for Wectiano. 9-0-3. What is the answer here from Saudi Arabia? They hold on. They lose that turret at the bottom lane. What is the answer? Defense could be the solution. Immortality is only one defensive tool here, but the base is too open for oh, Philippines man. right now. The Another hook and land on Sanji, plus the turret. The threat there with the feathered airstrike. They're looking to close out the game here in a sweep, claiming their first position in the grand final. Looks like they're gonna do it. Philippines in quick fashion, 12 minutes in, will claim their spot in the grand final tomorrow. Team Philippines, Team Sebo, the first team to reach the grand finals of the World Esports Championships in Yash 2023.